So this is what the grow tab looks like. Nothing too crazy, but growing your bot, it's not something you, that you wanna do in the development stages of building your bot, obviously, because it's not complete. You don't want anybody else to see it other than the people testing it, which is, at least in most cases for me, myself. But once your bot is finished and polished, this is where you wanna go. So obviously there are a couple different methods to promoting your bot. I'll create one video dedicated to growing your bot using Facebook ads and how to do that to get users. But there are a couple useful options from ChatFuel right within here. So the first is submitting your bot to the messenger discovery section. So this is basically a dedicated section on Facebook Messenger, the app on phones that allows people to browse bots that they can use. So by submitting this form, filling out some information about what your bot does, what sort of categories it falls into, etc. If you submit that, it'll be submitted to Facebook and then it'll allow easy access for people to find your bot. So that's one good tool for discovery. Personally, I have not found it that useful, but perhaps it's useful for some specific niches. The next is very, very useful and cool. So this is acquiring users from comments. So what you can do here is set up, as we did in the previous video, AI rules, but set them specifically to respond to comments. So a use case for this would be on your Facebook page, you create a post, say in the restaurant example that we're doing, you say, uh, respond pizza if you're interested in receiving a coupon for 50% off your pizza today. So the benefit there would be that people would start commenting pizza and you set up an AI rule for the bot to message people on Facebook through Messenger once they respond with that comment. Now, if somebody responds with something else, then the bot doesn't have to respond. Or alternatively, you can make it so that the bot responds to all comments on a specific post. So that's really useful because it makes the burden of people accessing your bot by going to your page, clicking a button of send message, etc. It relinquishes all that burden and it makes it super easy for people to access the bot because the bot is proactively reaching out to them in response to a simple comment that they made, which they would otherwise naturally make. So that's one really extremely useful uh, use case for this acquiring users from comments feature in the growth tab. And that's really it. Other options that you can use down here as you see the messenger code. So you can get this QR code essentially that you can scan, that users can scan from Facebook Messenger and it'll link them directly to your bot. Personally, I don't think that will catch on much because it's still kind of a burden. Personally, it took me a couple minutes to try to figure out where to even scan the code in Messenger. So I don't think that's too useful. But other ways that you can promote the bot is simply generating an m.me link, which is something you can include in Facebook posts that you create on your page. You can include it in email signatures, etc. So I think that's a great way. And to get that link, you actually go up here and it'll generate the link for you. And you just click copy to clipboard. That was a tongue twister. And it'll copy it to your clipboard. And then if you want, I'll just create a new tab here for demonstrational purposes paste that and it'll take you directly to the messenger bot. Now granted, if it's a user going here for the first time, it'll display the welcome message you've created. In my case, I've already been here, so it's just redirecting me to where I've already been. But that's probably the most effective way to grow your bot. Again, using the m.me link, possibly using a QR code, using the grow tab and submitting your bot for discovery. In addition to Facebook ads, which again, I will dedicate a whole video to later in this course.